what is up and welcome back to my channel it is your girl Jennifer Ross back at it again with yet another video today's video is going to be a summer life hacks type of video I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that I use during the summer because I love it when it's summer but like the heat waves I'm not really a fan my body cannot really tolerate it so I thought I would throw in these hacks for you I'm also gonna throw in some uh, summer festival hacks for you because I am going to attend the summer carnival in Rotterdam by the end of July so if you are attending that carnival as well and you see me then come say hey I would love to meet you but yes for today we're just gonna throw in these hacks I hope they help you some of them you already may know about them and if so then good for you but for the people who didn't think of them then this is for you so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe and yeah let's just go Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Of course, of course, my first tip is gonna be to drink enough water. Make sure you stay hydrated because water is always important, but especially during the summertime, you need to make sure that you drink enough water. It's also very, very refreshing. And in this bottle, it just stays cold the whole time. So I absolutely love that about this bottle. It is from Primark. So if you wanna get it, then get it. It's handy when you are at work, but also when you are around the house. Um, you don't continuously have to like take the water out of the fridge it just stays cool in a bottle like this so I love that it may not be anything new but it works and it's it's pretty good so if you don't have one of these bottles then definitely invest in one because it's life man and speaking about water uh, a friend of mine who also loves festivals she told me that at most festivals they screw the top of your water bottle off and they don't give you the lid okay so my tip is to put one of these in your fanny pack or in your small little bag in case they do that to you then you can still use your own lid to screw it back on top of your bottle and that you can drink it anytime you want the reason they do this is because they want you to like maybe if you didn't finish the whole bottle then you probably will put it somewhere or throw it away and what happens the next time that you're thirsty you're gonna buy a new bottle so it's just a way for them to make more money so just take one of these with you the chances of course that it won't fit the bottle but you can try at least okay I also have a little bonus tip for you don't tell anyone I told you and I don't mean any offense by the way but there are a lot of drunk people at festivals or uh, some people may be a little tipsy and sometimes they drop their coins you know their coins to buy drinks so check the ground at the bar because most of the times you will find a coin dropped somewhere grab it girl and get yourself a free drink okay and if there's no coin then of course you can go and buy a coin don't tell anybody i said okay but i said what i said though I just wanna get you on my then the next tip is to invest in one of these bad boys this is the same as the Avignon version of this uh, it's just water in a spray bottle and you can just shake this up and refresh yourself you know when you're hot so I would really really recommend getting one of these and also keep it in the fridge Keep it in the fridge so the water that is in this little thing is cold when you use it okay so yeah i would definitely recommend this uh, a few weeks ago i also bought this thing it is a fan that you can like spin on and you can put water in it so it's basically the same type of vibe as this bad boy that you can use but it's really really refreshing especially when it's hot okay Then my next tip is a makeup tip. Just make sure that you take your setting spray with you. If you're going outside and it's hot or if you're going to a festival, um, I know that NYX sells a small 
bottle um, that you can bring anywhere with you so I would really recommend that one and it's very very good as well my sister learned me this tip and it helps me out so so much during the summer if you have a big um, jar then you can totally like put some of your setting spray into a travel size container and still bring it with you to spritz it on whenever you feel like you need a little pick-me-up um, and in this way you don't have to like put on more makeup on your already like you know sweating face or whatever and your makeup stays in place so you're welcome is a fashion tip I really really recommend to wear your bathing suits or your swimsuit tops as a bodysuit or a top in this way you can have like more use out of your swimming wear and also if you don't live in an area where you have a beach around the corner you can still like use your sw swimming wear and some swimming some swimsuits have like very very cute like patterns and stuff and I think that looks amazing on top of jeans or some jeans shorts or like some biker shorts I think it's a look so I do that all the time and I really recommend you try it too and also you don't have to wear a bra when you wear it so to me that is amazing My next tip is especially for a festival if you have like very luxurious sunglasses these are my most precious sunglasses they are from Gucci and they are super super cool they are so bougie but for a summer festival you would especially want to bring something a little more cheap like your five dollar sunglasses they can also look super cool and because most of the time you can lose your sunglasses you know or maybe somebody bumps into you and it falls it breaks somebody steps on it like things like that can happen and I think it won't hurt you as much as your five dollar pair gets broken or you lose it or something um, while if it were your $200 type of sunglasses that would hurt a lot trust me so just bring your $5 ones for the festival or if you're going somewhere like the beach or something like this is what you want to bring oh and by the way like H&M Forever 21 Bershka everybody and their mama sells like affordable sunglasses so you can basically get those anywhere in any style the next tip is a fashion tip I always have the problem that my thighs rub against each other and that hurts so so bad so what I like to do is I wear like a pair of Spanx shorts underneath it um, and it really prevents my chop my chops my thighs from rubbing against each other and causing chop rub so I really recommend to try this um, you can also like wear like normal cotton biker shorts that you can buy at Primark or H&M they are mostly two euros fifty for one so it's really really cheap and it really helps trust me and another way to prevent chop rub is baby powder so I really recommend a baby powder as well uh, this works pretty good for me as well but I just like the shorts better uh, you can just uh, sprinkle some of this between your ties and it will make sure that um, they don't rub against each other and like uh, start like to hurt and stuff you can also bring a little bit of this in a smaller container to bring it with you to go so my next tip is to keep some tissues in your fanny pack they sell these little packs of tissues at any drugstore so make sure you put one of those in your fanny pack this will come in handy when you're using the toilet because most of the times there is no toilet paper in those mobile toilets and while you're at it girl don't make the mistake to go into the man's toilet or Dixie's because one thing it is this Costing. it is disgusting and also another one is don't look into the don't look into the Dixies because girl 
I promise you, you will be traumatized for the rest of your life, okay? So, yeah, I know it's something that we all need to do. We all need to use the bathroom. We all gotta pee and stuff. Bring your uh, tissues. Um, don't go into the man's Dixies because, okay, there's just five words. You do not do that, okay? That's, that's it, okay? And don't look into the toilet because you might see thing you may see things that you don't want to see so a small little bonus hack is also to bring some baby wipes with you they have like small packages of baby wipes that you can buy at any drugstore as well uh, this can come in handy when you're using the toilet but they can also come in handy when you just want to refresh your face or when you feel a little sticky and you just want to wipe it all over your your body a little bit then those can come in handy as well so my next and final tip is a very self-explanatory one, but make sure you bring your power bank with you because at a festival there's nothing as annoying as losing all of your friends and not having any way to contact them because your phone is out of power, okay? So make sure you bring your power bank in case anything like that happens and you can stay in contact with your friends. But that is it, amiga, for today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this. And I still have a giveaway going on on my channel for hitting 2K subscribers on YouTube. If you want to win, then make sure you follow me on Instagram and also be subscribed to this channel, of course. And leave me a comment down below letting me know that you are entered by including the words enter okay um what you can win is an 18 karat gold plated necklace in the shape of my beautiful island curacao uh, i will pick two winners this saturday and they will be announced in sunday's video so make sure you go ahead and enter and if you are going to a summer festival this summer then make sure you are safe there are crazy things happening out there so make sure you always pay attention to your drinks don't leave your drinks and come back to them because you know there are crazy people out there that may want to hurt you so be careful and don't abandon your friends okay like always make sure that you go together and go home back together okay but yes, I love you and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye, amiga!